Hey, South Jersey, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We're wrapping up the work week outside of our press headquarters where we had record high temperatures. Atlantic City International Airport got up to 83 degrees, breaking the record high by one. Set back in 1945, and in Millville, got up to 80 degrees, breaking the old record by four. Now, all across South Jersey, we were at or above 80 degrees, or maybe even just shy of there in a couple of spots. Either way, a very warm day. T-shirt weather, shorts weather for much of the mainland. At the shore, yes, it was a little cooler but still a relatively nice day. Now we are monitoring a line of showers and storms that'll come through until about 10 or 11 o'clock or so. Storm Prediction Center does have us in a risk for severe weather north of about the Black Horse Pike and over to Route 40, but I really don't think we see any here. The reason being, we already saw a couple of showers this afternoon, kind of takes the legs out of the juice needed for those thunderstorms. Still though, we could see one, and then after about 10 o'clock or so, a couple of rain showers will move in, mainly in Cape May County. So. KMA County could see a tenth or two tenths of an inch of rain, but over in Hamilton or Stafford could be completely dry during the night. Temperatures falling from the 80s into the 70s, 60s, and 50s as well. In fact, we'll start all our day on Saturday in the low to mid 50s, well above average for this time of year, but then we stay there during the day as Canadian air moves on in, that's cool Canadian air, and pretty much stunts our temperature growth despite the increasing sunshine that we will see throughout the day. So we start out above average, and as we get into the afternoon, we stay around average. Now, Saturday night, it's going to be a chilly night. Temperatures 50 degrees colder than where we are right now here this afternoon. By the time we get through our Saturday night, the clear sky and the calm winds, low humidity promotes something called radiational cooling where the heat from the day can escape straight into outer space. And we will see mid 20s over on the mainland and then just around 30 at the shore. Sunday, a chilly day, but a dry day. You're going to want the winter coat. Temperatures in the mid 40s, about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. But we will see morning sunshine giving way to afternoon clouds. Then as we go into our Monday, things get interesting. We have a coastal storm, something we haven't seen much of this winter. Come on into the region. We're going to have strong easterly winds, and I do believe there is the risk for minor stage coastal flooding during the morning high tide. So especially with many of us home, just be aware to move your cars to where you can get there safely. So move it a block or two if you're along the Bayside roadway. In addition to that, we will see pretty much a soaker all throughout the day. Now, for some of you, and I would say everywhere from out Woodland Township, over to Mullica Township, over to Buniburg, in Northwest, there is a low risk that we do start this out with snow on Monday morning. Looks like any precipitation would start between 5 to 8 a.m. Rainfall totals between a half inch to an inch, enough for some areas of roadway flooding, but otherwise that would be all. As we go into Tuesday, we're looking for a dry day. Next shot of rain will come on Wednesday. So from here at the press headquarters, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll be back with you Monday morning with the latest in South Jersey weather.